The federal polytechnic Nekede Ori has invented its first indigenous electric car. The rector of the polytechnic, while speaking on the breakthrough, says the electric vehicle was aided by the Tertiary Education Trust Fund. Prince Uba reports. Technical education is key to the technological growth and development of any country. Regrettably, Polytechnics that are established to provide technical education in Nigeria have been neglected and relegated to the background. Despite having over 120 polytechnics, Nigeria is still described as a technologically backward country, suggesting that technical education has been greatly undermined. But Federal Polytechnic Naked Yowere is bridging the gap. Now, the institution has invented an electric-powered vehicle, which if encouraged, will save the country billions of naira spent in the importation of cars and create wealth for Nigerian citizens. We plan to take it beyond this level and that is why we are calling on governments, we are calling on other people, entrepreneurs, to look at what we have done and develop interest. Once that interest is developed, then we can take it to a higher level because our major constraint is funding. That front that you are looking at is not metal. It is made from cow hoof and bamboo sticks. We blended them and then added some additives and formed that. So as you are looking at it, it's not, it's not metal. It's, it's completely local. For these inventors, it's a dream come true, as all the components used for the production are locally sourced. This is designed for our climate, our roads, our environment. It is locally made. It's not imported. So what is locally made is for us. It can survive in our, in our environment and in our society. We have students that can weld. Do you believe that? They welded. Those of them that couldn't get it well, we corrected them. They took part in the, the, the metal cutting. We have a laser cutter there. We use those laser cutters to teach them how those metals are cut. They did them themselves. We placed them. Then the arrangements of the wheels those shock absorbers and the rest of them, they were there. They were there when we raised the, uh, the tires up and they were part of the fixing. ECUs, totally localized. We built from the scratch. It's not something that was imported. We made the custom electronic boards. We incorporated the students in electrical electronics and the mechatronics. Those that have um, hands-on solving skills were incorporated. And we made sure that uh, the PCB, is what we call PCB, that's the board, that houses the electronic components. We made sure that every perspective of that PCB is totally localized. And we can hit our chest to let the world know that it is 100% local content. The vehicle is noiseless, has no engine, but powered by the solar panel and battery circuit. It does not also emit fumes, which is in conformity with greenhouse effects and global warming. Prince Oba, TVC News, Uwere.